Boston's population doubled in size in two years, suddenly the parking lots are full. One of the problems we have in this town, as we've seen, is that we do have this influx of people, and a lot of the influx are males, and they're males without families. Williston has been named the most expensive place to rent new housing in the country. It was once the most expensive place in the country for renters to live. But what is Williston like right now? Rent prices have dropped about 50% from this time last year. The affordability factor is drawing more families to the area. Housing prices, once amongst the highest in the country, are suddenly affordable. For the last quarter, Williston had the highest percentage of millennial home buyers in the country. A strong economy, growing industries, and low unemployment rates are very appealing to the incomers. Taxable sales and purchases increased 3% in 2017 to $17.9 billion. There's new roads, new airport, new school, lots of new infrastructure. Williston's new $240 million airport is the first new U.S. airport sighting in 12 years. Williston is a land of opportunity for those in need of work. That was evident at today's job service fall job fair. 95 different employers sought to increase their workforce. With more than 2,000 jobs available, there's no shortage of choices the highest quality of life out of every state in America. The average salary in Williston is over $100,000. The jobs are also changing. So we're seeing a higher skill level that's needed. Women on the Williston police force are a force to be reckoned with. 10 of the department's 50 officers, or 20% of the force, is female. The Williston Fire Department has been named as one of the top 2% in the country. Williston's latest crime figures show a significant drop in almost all categories. According to WSC, enrollment of international students has nearly doubled over the past eight years. For many, Williston is no longer a place of transitional or temporary housing. It's the place to call home. With billions of barrels yet to be tapped, locals say it's like having money in the bank. When the time comes, they will be ready to withdraw.